If you're using Google Ads for lead generation and you want to drive more phone calls to your business so that you can then get more clients to offer your services or go through and sell whatever it is that you are selling, what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to take you through what I believe is one of the most important reports that you can really focus on. And what I'm talking about is the core reporting report. As you're gonna see very, very soon, what this report allows you to do is that it allows you to not only see the user's phone number, so who is actually calling, but you can also see the time of the call, how long the call lasted, and more importantly, see the actual search term that triggered the phone call. Now the reason for why this is so important is it should be pretty easy to see, is so that you can really drill down on what are the most important phone calls which are really driving the sales for your business. I've also found it's one of the best ways that you can filter out those low quality calls. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into a screen share so I can show you not only how you can see this report but how I use that report so you can start generating more phone calls for your business. But if you also want extra help on how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns so that you can generate more leads for your business or your client's business, I want you to go through and follow that link in the description below and this is gonna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, which is specially formulated for service-based businesses. It's gonna take you through the process of how you can optimize your search, display, and performance max campaigns. So you can get all of that just by following the link in the description below. But with all of that said, let's now jump into a screen share so I can show you where you can not only view this report, but how you can use it to increase the performance of your Google Ads campaigns. Let's go. So when you're in Google Ads, where you wanna to go to is you wanna go into your insights and reports. And when you're in reports, you wanna to go to what's called report editor. And when you open that up, you wanna go down and look for a report which is called the core details report. And this will be under under ads and assets and I want you to go through and select the core details report. This will then open up this report. Now what I've done here, just to help with some privacy, I've actually taken out the phone number. But as you can see, you can actually add in the full caller phone number. So you can just see through here, we've just got the caller area code. That will come up by default, but as I said, I've removed it for privacy. And what I've also done is removed their campaign names. But the next part that I do want you to go through is I want you to go through and type in search and that will bring up the option for search keyword. And I've already added that in there. So I'll just remove this out. And then if we put it in here, you can see search keyword. So what we've now got is we've now got some really, really important data where you can not only see the duration of the phone call, when the phone call happened, but more importantly, the actual keyword. So what I'll do through here is I'll generally go through and filter this down by high to low. Now, there's a couple of things here. If you're the Google Ads manager, so you're not seeing all of this data, generally what I'll do is I'll work with the client and really get to get an average gauge of how long does the phone call need to be to be a really good lead or a quality lead. So what we do from here is, you know, we set some different rules. We generally set a rule of about a minute for this business. So you can see through here, because this is a service-based business where they wanted to generate some appointments, is what I do is I firstly filter this down by the duration of the phone call. And what I then look at doing is I look at the search keyword. And what I'll do here is I'll download this into either a Google Sheet or a CSV file, and then work with the client. And what we're really looking at doing is building out a list of what one of these keywords actually ended up in a client. Now, if the client has a CRM, this can be quite quickly because you can just import this data into their CRM. But even if they don't have a CRM, generally, if there's a receptionist or someone else in the business, they can very, very quickly match together the phone calls to people who actually ended up becoming a client, so booking a service. And what that then allows us to do is in that Google Sheet, we can then really build out, are there any core keyword themes which lead to more conversions. So we're not just talking about conversions in Google Ads, but actually in business conversions. So if we've then got those keyword themes, what we can then do is we can then build out some different campaigns or ad groups, which are specifically focused on those core keywords. So that's the main way that I use this report editor so that we're going through, we are adding in the search keyword, we're looking at the duration, and then we're matching it. And as I said, you'll often have to work with the business on this matching the phone number to the keyword 
keyword, and then we're highlighting which other search keywords which are generating the most conversions, and then we're targeting that spending around those keywords. But while we're here, so that's the main way that I really look through to go through and focus on my core campaigns to make sure they're providing the highest level of leads. The next way that we go through and do this is that when we're in the search campaign, we go into the search campaign settings, and if you didn't see, you just go through and click this little gear icon. When we go to our locations, go to location options, we are also then selecting to make sure that we are really targeting their presence, so not presence and interest. We found that has helped immensely. And then the last way that we're really going through and helping to reduce the number of low quality leads, and this may seem like an easy one, is that we're really, really specific in our ad copy. And what I mean by that is that if you've got a service that it's at a certain price point and it's not the cheapest in the market, we've found that it actually helps with the lead quality to mention your starting price. So let's just say that your services start from the price point of $399 and you know that there are other competitors who have prices that are below $200 or even below $100. Our strong recommendation would be to have a selection of ads which actually say that in the headline, prices start from $399. Now that may mean that you get less clicks. There's no point of getting more leads if they're gonna be low quality in that they're not within your current price range. So that so they're not the type of people that you need for your business. Another thing that I also recommend if you're in an area, say for example, you do installations and repair. So if you do installations but you don't do repair, we go through and you know make a statement, you know the installation specialists, and try to make it clear that you only focus on one area of the market. So the main way that we go about doing this is, as you can see, we first use that report editor and match the phone calls to the keywords, the search terms that are triggering those ads. So then we can build out that list of the highest converting search terms that users are using that lead to actually converted sales. The second thing we do is we update that location targeting to make sure it's set to presence only. So turning off presence and interest. And then finally, we're really, really strong with the ad copy messaging. Now, the only thing that I will note there is that especially when this is a new campaign, is it can sometimes take that first 90 days or even up to six months to really sift through to get enough conversions so that you can see those trends. So it is a bit of a case where you do, we'll have to put up with some lower quality leads at the start so that you can then really filter down and focus on what are those high converting, high quality search terms. And trust me, it's worthwhile because when you know those search terms, you can then really focus your budget in on those high converting search terms for your business. Thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Remember to follow that link in the description below if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And if you wanna see how I set up call only ads, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. See you next time.